curious about the subtle art of body language, especially in figuring out if a woman likes you. You're in the right spot. We're tackling those subtle yet revealing signs that whisper her feelings. These cues can be easy to miss, but no sweat. I'll guide you through understanding and responding to them. After all, recognizing the signs is just the start. How you respond is what really counts. Before we jump into these signals, let's quickly grasp body language basics. It's a silent yet powerful communicator, revealing stories without words. However, it's essential to see the whole context. A hair twirl might mean interest, but only if other signs accompany it. It's about piecing together these subtle clues like a detective, not just picking up on one and calling it a day. So ready to play detective? Let's dive into these signs and unravel their meanings. 1. Prolonged Eye Contact Ever heard the saying, eyes are the window to the soul? There's some truth to that, especially when it comes to spotting if someone's interested. When a woman holds your gaze a bit longer than usual, it's like she's sending a silent message. And no, it's not just because she's daydreaming or lost in thought. But here's the deal, don't turn it into a staring contest. That's just awkward and you might come off as a bit creepy. The trick is to keep it cool. If you catch her holding your gaze, hold it for a moment, flash a friendly smile, then look away. It's like saying, hey, I see you there, without needing a billboard to do it. This eye contact game can be a subtle dance. It's about finding that sweet spot between showing interest and playing it smooth. So next time you catch those longer glances, remember it's not just about noticing them, but also about responding in a chill yet interested way. 2. Mirroring Movements Ever find yourself copying someone's posture or gestures without even realizing it? Well, that's mirroring for you. It's like your body's way of saying, hey, I'm on the same wavelength as you. When a woman starts mirroring your movements, it's a pretty good hint that she's feeling a connection. So you lean in and she leans in. You take a sip of your drink and she does the same. It's not a coincidence. It's like an unspoken conversation. But here's a pro tip. Don't turn it into a game of Simon Says. That's just weird. Instead, use it as a green light to keep the conversation flowing. Your move? Mirror her back, but keep it subtle. It's about building rapport without making it look like you're practicing synchronized swimming. It shows you're in sync. And let's be honest, it's kind of fun to see this silent language play out. Just remember, subtlety is your friend here. 3. Playing with hair You've probably seen it in movies. A woman twirling her hair as she talks to a guy. Well, guess what? It's not just a Hollywood thing. When a woman plays with her hair while she's around you, it's often more than just fixing her hairstyle. It's one of those classic, almost cliche signs of interest. But let's not jump to conclusions too fast. It's not always a flirt alert. Sometimes it's just a habit, or maybe she's just really thinking about getting a haircut. The key here is to look for other signs along with the hair twirl. Is she smiling at you while she's at it? Is there that twinkle in her eye? That's when you know it's game on. So how do you respond? Keep it smooth and throw a compliment her way. Something like, I like the way you've done your hair, can work wonders. It acknowledges her subtle signal without overdoing it. Just be genuine about it. No one likes a fake compliment, especially not about their hair. 4. Leaning in while talking. Ever noticed how when you're really into a conversation you just naturally lean in? It's like your body's way of saying, okay, I'm really listening now. When a woman does this, it's like a non-verbal nudge saying, hey, I'm interested in what you're saying. It's subtle, but it speaks volumes. Now, how to respond without looking like you're trying to invade her personal space? The trick is to lean in just a bit, not like you're about to fall over. Show that you're equally engaged in the conversation. It's about creating this cozy little bubble where it's just the two of you in the moment. But remember, respect the bubble. Don't get too close too soon. It's all about finding that comfortable middle ground. 5. Open body language. Think of this as the body's way of saying, welcome to my space. When someone's into you, their body language tends to open up. It's like they're unfolding a welcome mat right in front of you. Notice the details. If she's facing you with uncrossed arms, a relaxed posture, and perhaps even a slight tilt towards you, these are all signs she's comfortable and open to your presence. It's her body's nonverbal way of saying, I'm open to this conversation and to you. So how should you respond to this open invitation? The key is to mirror that openness in your own body language. Maintain a relaxed posture, face her directly, 
and consider leaning back slightly to show you're comfortable and at ease in her company. This creates an unspoken dialogue of mutual comfort and interest. Think of it as silently communicating, yeah, I'm feeling this too. However, be mindful to keep it natural and effortless. Overdoing it can come off as unnatural, like you're trying too hard to impress. The goal is to make the interaction feel easy and genuine, like two pieces of a puzzle fitting perfectly together. 6. Tilting head during conversation. When she tilts her head while listening to you, it's a sign of engagement and interest. It's like her way of saying, you've got my full attention. This subtle gesture in the language of body language is pretty loud and clear. It's as if her head tilt is underlining her interest in what you're saying. This gesture often indicates curiosity and openness, an unspoken invitation for you to share more. Your move? This is your cue to engage more in the conversation. Share something interesting about yourself, perhaps a quirky story or an unusual hobby. Ask her open-ended questions to deepen the dialogue. Show that you appreciate her attention. Think of it like tossing the ball back in a game of catch. It keeps the interaction lively and dynamic. Remember, the goal is to captivate, not bore. Choose topics that are likely to spark interest. Nobody tilts their head for a snooze fest. 7. Blushing Ah, the classic sign of attraction. When she blushes in your presence, it's often a natural, uncontrollable reaction. It's like her emotions are playing color by numbers on her cheeks, revealing a rosy hint of her feelings. Blushing is one of those involuntary responses that can be endearingly honest, offering a glimpse into her emotions that words might not capture. How should you respond? Be considerate, and don't call her out on it. That's just embarrassing. Instead, acknowledge this sign subtly and continue the conversation in a gentle, reassuring manner. Use this moment to build a connection, perhaps by sharing a lighthearted comment or a smile that says you're both in this together. It's about making her feel comfortable, not spotlighting her blush. Remember, it's a compliment to you, so feel good about it. But keep the atmosphere relaxed and comforting. It's these little moments of genuine human interaction that can turn a casual chat into something more meaningful. 8. Frequent Smiling now, we're not just talking about polite, I'm just being nice smiles. We're talking about those genuine eye-crinkling smiles that light up her face. When she's frequently smiling around you, it's like a green light flashing, signaling her comfort and enjoyment in your company. But here's where you need a bit of savvy. Respond with your own genuine smile. It's like reflecting sunshine back at her. Keep the mood light and positive. Maybe crack a joke or two if that's your style. The key is to maintain that upbeat vibe. It's not just about making her smile, but about creating an environment where smiles just naturally happen. Remember, genuine smiles are contagious, so let yours spread.